Hello everybody, welcome back to Control. In this video we're going to continue the main story quest, the face of the enemy, and we're going to find, going to try to find a projector. That started a lot of, a lot of this stuff that happened. Okay, access the ordinary AW area by rotating the turntable tracks. Okay. Wouldn't be that easy, would it? So there is this this thing that moves, you know, that you cannot kill. Yeah. It's right over there. Well, that helped. There's gotta How be a way to rotate the tracks? these tracks. Maybe there's a control panel nearby. <laughs> there's definitely going to be that, but where? How about this area? Yep. Gotta be a way to rotate these tracks. Maybe there's a control panel. Here. Yeah. Maybe. Bridge operator. Might be here. Not here, definitely. How about upstairs? Okay, it sure is here. Guess we just had to inspect an inbound delivery of like a hundred teensy tiny little boxes. Me, that's who. And you know what was inside each one? A single human tooth. Fucking gross. Yeah, that's gross. Okay, it started to turn. It won't rotate. Something's blocking it. No? Oh man... What is blocking it? What is blocking it? Okay, we're going down now. We're down basically. Okay, 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 go, go, go. Fierce. Something fierce, very fierce. Maybe these things. Yep, that was it. Let's get out of here. Oh, that was actually the other way. Continue towards the ordinary AWE area. Transit corridor north. Okay. I 
I guess it's that way. Down the stairs. Gotta be careful. Just too damn quiet in here. I told you it's just too damn quiet. God damn it. Crazy creatures. Where are you? Oh, Jesus. That creature is something. Almost got me. Every time I think it, they almost get me. Just living on the edge. Okay. What is the hell is this? An old plane. We okay, need to put something here. Levitation ammo efficiency. Doom. Nope. Okay, we need a box. Box is here. Throw the box in there. And let's go, I guess. Is there anything more to this place? Can't be that simple. It can't be just leaving me like that. There's another box. Three boxes. Okay, so I actually take a lot of damage by shooting myself with this. That's maybe how I died a couple of times. But I got a question for you. Why there is no elevator music? Search for the slide projector object of power. Okay. Senior, senior supervisor. Mini boss. Number four. Senior supervisor is very, very pissed. All right. Altered examination request airplane wreckage. The airplane in question has been brought in from a private airfield located in the town of Cincinnati is it suspected to be connected to the AWE and is being evacuated for alter altered status. The plane is currently being stored in the transit corridor and the contaminated sector brought there though the New York subway tunnel special access for more information tunnel and links to urban legends centered on ghost stations, abandoned tracks and the file the plane's box box currently being evacuated for initial readings have been taken by a research team through no altered status has been detected. If you understood anything from that, please tell me because I don't. Is this the correct way? Yep. Have to go down. Oh, hey fella. Sitting so quiet here. 
ordinary AWE stage 1A dump. Witness testimonies. The first slide was a room with a dirty wallpaper and dolls on a shelf. There was lots of dolls. DF interview 2002. The house was empty. No one lived there. We played in there a lot. It was our secret playhouse. Jesse Fade in therapy session 2010. I went to school with Neil. Some kids call him nosebleed Neil. Note, likely Neil Hosenberg missing. It was mean. He had asthma. Tom, Tom, not like Tom Burlow missing. And his gang, Freddy, note, likely Frederick Bartwell missing. Hugo, note, no one by this name was found in public records. Bullied him. We brought Neil to the dump to play. Um, Dylan Fade interview 2002. Unexplored information and confirm existence of additional slide designations house. Right. Two two. Uh, how do we get in? Press the button. You're listening to America Overnight, celebrating twenty nine years. correlation with the yet unknowable forces intruding upon our world in the form of altered world events. These forces gravitate toward archetypal objects, a gun, a, a television, a supposedly haunted house. So clearly humanity affects this process. Our collective unconscious is a, a map of sorts. We hold the key, but we don't know how to use it. We create these archetypes through everyday life popular culture, urban legends, but we are observing and influencing a complicated system in action. We can change the likelihood of something being a receptacle for these forces just by thinking about it. Right. I'm sick of this dude. What the? What's the cause? What's the effect? Are we the starting point or just a necessary evil in this? A byproduct? A reflection? A projection? Let's try to find the answers to these hard questions. Or die trying. What the hell? Doesn't seem like we want to shut up. Ordinary AW24. An AW occurred in the tower ordinary caused by an object of power slide projector ID 00P15 discovered by local children on the dump outside of town. When a specific set of sliders are used in the projector, the projector in images open doorways to other dimensions. Jesus, that's a serious one. Multiple slides were used by the children resulting in the disappearance of the town's adult population. Event response. On August 30, 2002, Siblings Dylan Faden, 10 years old, CP6 materials, and Jesse Faden, 11 years old, CP7 materials, were playing at the local dump when they found a discarded slide projector. See OOPP guys file, yeah. A team led by Director Trench and Dr. Darling arrived at the site on September 14th. The AWE had ended, but the team found the fading children who led them to the slide projector and the slides which has been burned with the exception of one. Jesse escaped when agents attempted to, to detain the pair. In total, 17 surviving individuals were found in the town. All of them were brought in for questioning and tests. Oh boy. Why would we want to mess with that? Ordinary AWE Stage 4, a town proper witness testimonies. Jesse and me followed the dunk monkeys to the cave. There was a lot of them. More of the kids from town had joined up. It was really scary. Jesse grabbed the projector and we ran as fast as we could. They chased us. I fell and hurt my knee. Jesse tried to help me. But the dunk monkeys were coming. They were just about to get us. But then Neil showed up. Neil looked like a dog, like a melted dog. But I knew it was him. Neil said a lot of times, but he didn't like being a boy because Tom just beat him up. I think he liked being a dog. Dylan Faden, interview 2002. 
The projector wouldn't turn off, so we changed the slide to the hand. I heard her immediately, so she promised to help. Jesse Fadin, therapy session 2010. Jesse said we should call her Polaris. It's because she was doing stars at school. Dylan Fain interview 2002. Explorate information, additional slide designation hand said 36 is verified and in bureau possession. Unconfirmed existence of paranatural entity designation dog Neil. Yeah. Okay. Now it starts to make some sense of all of this. But damn, so much reading. Come on, guys. Like, I've read a half a book with you. <laughs> Not that I don't complain, I like to read, but Annual evaluation I mean, other people might not want to. P6 performed by Dr. Carlevon. The questions asked here correspond to the In a single word, describe the world around you. Where's Casper? Dr. Darling is out of the building today. He's never out. He didn't want to come, did he? He never visits, not since Robert. Tell Darling it wasn't my fault. I couldn't control it yet, but I can now. I learned. Will you tell him? In a single word, describe the world around you. A prison. A cold, empty prison. Not even a poster on the wall. Mm -hmm. What is the next number in the sequence 3, 6, 9, 12, 15? 18. What day is it today? How the hell would I know? It's not like you give me a calendar. You find a rabbit in the woods. It is breathing, but not moving. You cannot see any blood. What do you do? Leave it. Expand on that. It doesn't matter. The rabbit's not real. None of it's real. What day is it today? Do you enjoy asking people questions that can't be answered? <laughs> is, is this what gets you up in the morning? What you dreamed of doing as a scared, stupid little girl? Can you describe a dog to me? In Ordinary, we had a friend. Nosebleed Neil. And when it all went crazy, you know what I mean. Nosebleed Neil turned into a dog. Or something like a dog. What day is it tomorrow? Fuck off! I don't know! There is no calendar! How can I fucking know? Dylan, calm down. Fuck you! Fuck you and fuck Casper! Hey, hey! Uh, are you watching this, you old fuck? Did you send your bitch because you're too scared of me? Where is Casper? Security, get a team in here. I need you. Well. So, I guess we will be fighting Nosebleed Neil. Ordinary AWE Stage 2 sled will cave. Witness testimonies. After what happened at school to Mrs. Chester, we started spying on Tom and saw where they took the projector. Um, Tom and his troglophytes were using the sled hill cave as their headquarters. That's where the projector was. They'd been using the temple slide, we called it that, but really it was a broken concrete thing, like a warehouse or a bomb shelter or something very dark. The non-mother lived there with her babies. Children, I don't know. She was feeding Tom and the others her milk. Wow. They were changing into little monsters. We call them dung monkeys. Jesse Fading Therapy Session 2010. Unconfirmed existence of additional slide designation temple. Unconfirmed existence of parental entity designation not mother. Okay. What the hell is happening here? What the, are these guy, kids doing there? Some crazy stuff. Okay, we cannot buy any more abilities. We need to get this up. Okay, let's continue. Ordinary AWE Stage 1B dump. Witness testimonies. The second slide we called the Bido, but it was really just an empty lot with a bunch of weeds. There was a shack and a phone line. It smelled like flowers there. It was powerful, intoxicating. We had crazy dreams there. It must have been because of the smell. I didn't like it. Didn't like losing control. In the dreams, everything was melting. And then, when we'd come out, everything had melted around the projector. Jesse Fading Therapy Session 2010. 
Neil was really into it. We found out he'd been coming there more and more on his own. And then Tom beat beat the secret out of Neil and found the projector. He and his goons took it. Jesse Fading Therapy Session 2010. We thought Neil had gone had got lost inside the meadow when Tom changed the slide, but that's not what happened. Um, Dylan Faden interview 2002. Unconfirmed existence of additional slide designation Mido. Let's see what they have on ordinary. It's all here. Our home, our school, the woods, the dump. Wow. They actually went into the trouble of building this? Okay. Shall I dig in into this? Hello? Right. This is a big place for a boss fight though, you know that. For that nosebleed dog or for that not mother. Oh, of course. They couldn't let me just be it. I have to wreck this beautiful recreation of ordinary. Nothing ordinary about ordinary though. Oh, the senior guy. Oh, no, no, no. Damn you. It seems like the normal enemies have gone tougher because I just can't get them with one shot as I used to. God damn you. See, I can throw things also at you. I keep forgetting that I have this cool gun. They recreate that too? Is that where they keep it? Okay. We're full with stuff that we cannot eat. We're full, very full of stuff that we don't need. Okay, let's throw some stuff. Let's throw the low stuff. Keep the high stuff. Though it's getting really crowded here. Okay, how about... Also... No? I mean, the these. Shatter. These are lousy. All right. Let's see. Uh, dump site. Yeah, they recreated that too. Sealed area. Do not you access. You mentioned a poem last time we talked. Illuminated. Hmm. I looked the poem up. Sorry for interruption. We got a, uh, I got health. We got a lot of stuff that might be useful here. Might. Or might not. Could have used some recovery of the Only energy. I, find but, uh, any poet by sure. that name. Well. I did find a European filmmaker who moved here in the 60s named Thomas Zane. What? I don't know, matter. It suits you very well. The poem. How you see things. Maybe you wrote it yourself. I didn't. No matter. You've said a few times that you feel like there's a piece of you missing. Can we talk about that? 
Okay. Yeah, um, it's this, I feel an emptiness, a yearning for something that I think I lost. It's natural for you to feel that way. Your brother and your parents are dead. No, no, Dylan is not dead. And that's not even it. You're referring to the imaginary friend from your childhood? Polakis, she's come back. After a long time, she's calling me. In a dream I saw, she, she showed me things. Jesse, it felt more real than anything. As real as what happened in Ordinary. The industrial accident in your hometown that you believe Polaris caused. No, it wasn't an accident. There was no industrial accident and Polaris didn't cause it. She saved me and Dylan. Jesse. No, it was a cover up. The government knows about it. There were agents there, agents from I don't know exactly. They took Dylan. They, I'll find them. I won't stop looking. Polaris wants me to go to New York. There's a building there. Right. I have to leave soon. I have to be there at a very specific time. Something, something hugely important is going to happen. Jesse, you know he can't let you go until you're well. And that begins by understanding what's real and what's not. Right. So she was in a psychiatric something. Ordinary WE 24. Details are largely based on interviews conducted with Dylan Faden. Information and obtained therapy sessions of Jesse Faden as well as substantial evidence found at the ordinary site. Note that accounts provided by all three sources contain in confliction, conflicting data. Example, Dylan Faden claims that there were eight slides for the projector. Jesse Faden mentioned nine slides. The Bureau found out one intact slide and the burned remains of six others. Unfortunately, these slides are too badly damaged to be used in the projector. Jesse Faden is believed to be the individual responsible for burning the slides. Dr. Darling has ordered that the entirety of the ordinary town dump be brought to the Bureau for examination and analysis with the hopes of finding additional slides or other altered materials. Due to the limited space in the investigations sector, this AWE will be investigated in the containment sector. Okay, so they brought the whole dump here. How do they get this all this money from the government to build this thing? Oh my god. They moved There's a whole, whole dump in here. landfill here in the middle of New York. And nobody saw a thing. <laughs> Pretty unbelievable. Nope. By order of Dr. Darling, all work in the ordinary dump is to stop effectively immediately. Resources will be al allocated to the department. Details will be forthcoming. This area will be sealed at the end of the month. Please remove all personal eff effects before the, ti the time. Any photographic slides the type used in the slide projects was found in the area should be delivered to Dr. Darling immediately. So this is where it's going to be a boss fight. Come on. I just don't believe you're going to leave me that easily. Another one. Wolf Globe. A AI 72P. The item was found in the penthouse suit at Toronto belonging to David Wolf, who was being investigated for legally dealing in altered materials. Bureau agents raided his penthouse and found numerous paranormal belongings, including and this item. Mr. Wolf was arrested. Supplementary materials. Article from the Toronto Daily. So why would a 36-year-old Bay Street and investment trade trader, filthy rich, married to a model, disappear overnight? That's the question that kept Toronto High Society up at night this past week. Police say it's being looked into 
some nut job radio show in the United S- in the in the states claims he disappeared to join the Illuminati. But this reports reporter's opinion that Mr. Wolf's bored of his job, sick of his family, let it all behind to retire in some remote beach paradise. Now he's sipping my ties while the world thinks he's dead. Okay. There we go. Arise, my friends, arise. Come and fight. Maybe I try to just get them from here. Seems to be, seems to be damn immune to a lot of uh, the projectiles that throw at him. Oh boy! Come on, Hess. What is the problem with you? Stuff officer. Sarge Sterling's lab for the slide. Is that it? Let's pick, pick up all the goodies. Jesus. Look how many personal mods. the lab yep. so some old computer from the 70s effective immediately I'm setting up a new department dimensional research in the research sector uh, transferring the slide projector there that's where my focus will be now. The ordinary site remains as is. We'll be back to... I, I don't know when. Darling took the projector to the research sector. He dedicated a whole area to it, so he knew it was important. Dimensional research. That's where we go next. Tango, new mission. Search for the slide projector in dimensional research. Well, so we came here for nothing. We just, 
we just fought with this just to find out that it was in the dimensional research which we could get i think by on our own but i don't know if that was possible well anyway that's pretty much it for uh this video so um yeah it's pretty strange what's happening the way it happens but it seems like the projector is gonna be there and we're gonna find about that in the next video so um thank you for watching like subscribe leave me a comment and i'm gonna see you in the next one